get ready. Welcome back to another video where today we're going to count down our top 5 Universal Studios Hollywood restaurants inside the park. Before we get into the video we would ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and smash the like button if you enjoy the content. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Universal Studios Hollywood is a theme park which has a lot of historical weight behind it. Originally opening in 1912 as a movie studio, it eventually made the transition to both movie studio and theme park in 1964. Some guests argue that Universal Studios Hollywood does not match up to its sibling park in Florida, due to the relatively low number of attractions it offers. However, we feel the park still offers enough to make it one of the best around. With that being said, let's get into the list. Get ready! Number 5. Luigi's Pizza there's a general agreement among theme park enthusiasts that parks don't do pizza well. We tend to agree with this, but if we did have to get pizza in a theme park, we'd probably choose to eat at Luigi's. As well as pizza, the park also has some nice pasta dishes, garlic breadsticks and salad, as well as offering a range of different beverages such as soft drinks and beer. Focusing on the pizza though, guests have the option to either purchase a singular slice, which to be fair is larger than a normal pizza slice, or an entire pizza. A single slice will cost you around $10, while a full pizza will cost you around $60. In our opinion, the cost for both a singular slice and a full pizza is enough to turn a lot of guests off both options. So if you do go to Luigi's Pizza and are in the mood for a substantial meal that isn't too overpriced, we might recommend a pasta option instead. Number four, Cletus's Chicken Shack. Next up we have Cletus' Chicken Shack. We know some people will have other opinions on this and will potentially have Luigi's Pizza over Cletus' Chicken Shack. However, looking at this from a quality, cost and value for money perspective, we feel Cletus' Chicken Shack does enough to win here. Although some reviews have said that the quality of the fried chicken could be better, in terms of what you get for what you pay, it's probably fair enough. When it comes to the menu, as you may have guessed, the restaurant serves a range of fried chicken options, which can also be accompanied by fries as a side dish. In terms of cost, like all theme park restaurants, it can be expensive, with drinks especially seeming like a bit of a rip-off. However, if you think this restaurant sounds like something you might be into, then we would highly recommend trying the chicken and waffle sandwich on your next visit. Number 3. Panda Express Making it into the top three, we have the only mainstream restaurant on this list. However, we felt it was too good not to include. Now, before people start to argue that this Panda Express is not exactly the same as their local Panda Express, we know. As this restaurant resides in a theme park, it is therefore going to be more expensive than other franchises. With that being said, the quality of the food and portion sizes are no different, which we feel is an important factor here. For viewers who have never heard of Panda Express before, it is essentially an American Asian fast food restaurant. It's worth noting that the Universal Studios Hollywood Panda Express is also a little more limited in terms of options than other Panda Express restaurants. Overall, we feel that the cost versus the amount of food you get is pretty good value in the theme park world. Number two, Krusty Burger. Our second favourite of all Universal Studios Hollywood restaurants has to be Krusty Burger. Firstly, we are huge Simpsons fans, so the theming and the novelty of eating a Krusty Burger is a big bonus for us. Secondly, the food is actually really good, along with being a good sized portion and actually pretty decent value for money in relation to other options. In total, Krusty Burger offers a range of five different burgers, with one of these burger options being suitable for vegans. Burgers are generally priced between $13 to $16, with an option of fries for an additional $5. In our opinion, a good quality burger and fries at a theme park for around $20 is pretty okay. Where Krusty Burger can start to seem expensive is if you order a drink on top of this, so we would recommend bringing your own drink if possible. Overall, we highly recommend Krusty Burger as one of the top Universal Studios Hollywood restaurants, and it's definitely worth a visit. Number 1. Three Broomsticks Finally, coming in at number 1 is Three Broomsticks from the popular Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Similar to Krusty Burger, eating in this restaurant is a huge novelty for guests, especially for those who are avid Harry Potter fans. 
If you've read the books or seen the movies, you're probably aware of how three broomsticks would look before eating at this restaurant. However, the main reason this restaurant comes in at number one on our list is not just because of the impeccable theming, but also the quality and value for money of the dishes it offers. Keeping in line with the Harry Potter theme, Three Broomsticks has a British feel to it, and its dishes generally match this. Guests can avail of things such as fish and chips, bangers and mash, among others. Main dishes generally range from about $16 to $20, and as well as this, the restaurant also offers a decent kids menu and some more authentic Harry Potter beverages, although we would consider the beverages overpriced. To sum up, Three Broomsticks is potentially one of the best theme park restaurants in the world and we would highly recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our hidden gems for Universal Studios Hollywood on screen now. Let us know in the comments below what your favourite restaurant is at Universal Studios Hollywood and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already.